doing at home? Mind your own business. You sick? Yeah, sick of you asking stupid questions. Oh, it's the male menopause. The service still ain't shown. Police are still out there asking questions. What? What are they saying? If anyone's seen her, they asked me and Billy. What did you say? That she was tied up in our kitchen. Oh. You didn't. Now, Mr. Hills, just stop and think. What is that to think about? Sarah told you it was Robbie Jackson. She told you it was him. Isn't that right? Yes, but you so, can't just... And Cathy told me what he'd done. He delivered a pizza and then... And he raped. Oh, Mr. Hills, that's... Sarah wouldn't lie, would she? No, she wouldn't. So I'm just going to have a quick word with Robbie Jackson, so, that's Mr. all. Mr. Hills, this might not be the best way to deal with it. Jesus said, turn Listen, the other cheek. Jesus has got nothing to do with it. Now, get out of my way. Oi! Is he in there? Who? Jackson. Who Michael Jackson? I think I know this one. I'm not in the mood for smart remarks today. Robbie Jackson, is he in there? What do you want him for? He raped my daughter. Robbie? You know, you're priceless, Ted. Suppose I was wrecking her. It's Robbie, what's the matter with this you? This is not me. This comes from Sarah. This is her. Now, where is he? Not in today. Right. I really need that, don't I? Some lunatic honouring rape on my forecourt is not good for business. Back in the garden, it was still boiling hot. I've just seen your dad. What? He's going crazy. He's looking for Robbie Jackson now. Robbie? Hurry, he could do anything. What's Robbie done? It was him that was with Sarah, not Ricky Butcher. I know what happened to my daughter, and I know who did it. And you spouting love and forgiveness is just getting up my nose. Just leave us, will you? But leave you know, us. But just go unless you want to get hurt. Now, what's this about, Dad? Sarah went to see Alice the last night after she'd been attacked. And him, him in there, he delivered her a pizza, and then he, then he, then he raped her. Robbie? I don't believe it, not Robbie. Sarah told Alice there he's always been after her. He's not there, Dad. <laughs> Now he's for it. Look, there's no one in there, is there? They would have answered by now. Well, he's got to be somewhere. Yeah, but not here. So come on, yeah? Sonia. It's all right. I heard him go. What's he on you for, Rob? Is it to Sarah? No. It is, isn't it? Look, don't let anybody in. I don't want to see anybody, all right? He says there's nothing going on. That's not true. So he's lying, is he? Yes. Well, let's ask him, shall we? See what he has to say about it. Okay. Alistair. Frankie says you're lying. That you and she are like two peas in a pod. Frankie, why are you doing this to I'm me? I'm not doing anything. I know you want me, Alistair, and now it's OK. Alan and me are through forever. Frankie, I'm engaged. You can go around saying whatever you like, but it's not true. I want nothing to do with you. I don't want you coming to the fellowship anymore. I'm not interested in the fellowship. I'm interested in you. Frankie, you're not well. You've got a problem. Go and see someone. Alan, you can let him talk to me like that. He can talk to whoever he wants. And I think you should listen to what he's saying, Frankie. Because you've been wrong. Mick! There you are. What's going on? I've had enough of this. You regret this? You hate you when we don't play your stupid games. You like playing them for long enough. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Frankie! Calm down. Just relax. Bye, Frankie. Hope you rot in hell. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Come on, let's go. Why don't you put up with it? Because maybe I'm a better Christian than you are. Is it Ted? How do I know? It's the police. Don't let him in. What? I haven't done nothing. Well, they ain't gonna go away or have they seen us? You can't let him in. We need to speak to Robbie again. Have you got your identity card? He only saw us this morning. I didn't see you. She's not serious. Don't worry, I've got mine. Open up and I'll show you. Could you show it to me? I think you'd better do a runner. I can't. I'll try stalling them, then. That could be a fake. Can I have the phone number of your police station so I can check up? Not bad, is it? Not cheap, though. Give it hands if I'm short of money. I'm just going to spend, spend, spend. I always pay my share. Yeah, well, this is my treat. I won't be needing the money for the wedding anymore, so let's just have a laugh. Get about Ricky Wolf at the lot. I thought we weren't going to mention Ricky. We're not. So, what should we do? Go to a club? People are going to think it's grab a granny night. Well, you're joking, are you? When I was at school, all the boys in my class fancied you. All right, if not a club, what then? Let's, um, let's go for a drink and then a meal. Yeah, a really expensive one, a really great restaurant. Yeah, sounds good to me. Come on. You 
know what, Mum? I really wish you hadn't done it. They're genuine. Just making sure. Very good. Robbie, um, we've got it on good authority that when you saw Sarah last night, a lot more went on than what you actually told us. It's not true. Well, how do you know? You haven't even told you what we've learnt yet. You said that you delivered a pizza and then left, yeah? Yeah, cheese and tomato. And anchovy. I hate those. It's like eating slugs. What, you didn't stay and share it with her? Robbie don't like anchovies either. Robbie? No. Right, so you went in, you put the pizza down, and then she paid you and you left. Yeah, that's right. So how come you were over half an hour to get back to the shop? Well, I was... Um... He got lost. He's not very bright. I think we need to have a little chat, Robbie. Yeah, all I need is someone to help out when Robbie's off. Well, I hope you're not looking at me. Well, I thought... No way! Look, this is your idea. You wanted the cab business. Have you come up with anything yet? I'm still working on it. Well, my patience is running thin. Mr. King, 30 minutes, Lenny. Normal pick-up point. Well, you seem to be handling this without too much difficulty. Looks like Ted was right, Barry. Seen that? What's going on? I haven't done anything wrong, Alan, I swear it. Who are you, sir? I'm his stepdad. Yeah, well, we need to have a little chat with him down at the station. What about? Sarah, it's about Sarah. Sarah? I didn't do anything wrong, Alan, I didn't. Come on, Robbie. Keep calm, Robbie. Tell the truth and everything will be all right. Anyone heard from Sarah yet? No. Well, I still think somebody has made a mistake somewhere. Ricky's a lot of things, but he's not the type to go forcing himself on girls. Blossom. What's the matter? The police have got Robbie. What? Yeah, they think it was him that attacked Sarah last night. I need to go down the station and try and sort it out. I don't know where Carol is. She's gone off somewhere with Bianca. We look after the kids for me? Come on, you two. And behave yourself. Amazing. Suddenly he's a Karen show and daddy goes. Alan. Why do I think it's Robbie? I don't know. And he's saying he didn't do it? Oh, of course he is. Well, he would, wouldn't he? What? Robbie wouldn't do a thing like that. I mean, he couldn't. He just couldn't. Look, I'm not going to stay and listen to this. If I'm not back in time for the cafe tonight, log up for me, will you? Yeah. It's typical, isn't it? Nobody ever wants to believe it. It's always the same. They were egged on. It's not their fault. You're saying Robbie's guilty. And you know nothing about it? If you think I'm going to defend some kid because he happens to be related to you, then you are wrong. I hope they lock him up and throw away the key. Two teas, please. Where's your bird? Heard what? The police have picked up Robbie. No time. Who knew? Yeah. I've got the police on there. You better get these, Cass. Don't think I can. How much is this costing? About one bridesmaid's dress. Most blokes are eyeing us up. I know. Cheek. Why, we're both single, aren't we? Anyway, I like it. Yeah. So do I, really. <laughs> You know, we should have done this before. Beats the Vic and the Chippy. I oh, know, but we ain't got this sort of money to blow every day, have we? And uh, it's not every day you cancel a wedding. I thought we weren't going to mention the wedding. Sorry. We always say you're too busy to get away anyway. Yeah, that's called work. I know, you've always worked, haven't you? I've never known you not to. Yeah, when you were first born, I used to take you with me. What did you show? I was nushing out at the pictures. The lady in the box office used to have your carry cut on the floor, you know, while I collected the tickets. Didn't they mind? No. The trouble was, I never got to see any of the films. I always had to come and feed you. Sorry. No, I didn't care. It's you lot that kept me going. You know what? When I have kids, I want to be just like you. I want to be a really good mum like you've been. You're the best friend I've got. I've not been that great. You've been brilliant. And we've never gone with that. Anything that was important, we had it. I'm really proud of you, Mum. Oh, I'm sorry, Grant. I don't know what the police said to him, but he's in the right state. Yeah, well, don't bother him anymore. They've just pulled Robbie Jackson. Robbie? Yeah, they've gone down the cop shop now and they're giving him a third degree. Sounds like they're convinced they've got the right one this time. Uh, that's two thirds, please. Quieter than normal in here tonight. Yeah. So, uh, Ricky's off the hook then? Looks like it. Back for 
long the way. Any news, Tony? Nah. How's your dad? Worried sick. He's just sitting at home hoping she's gonna turn up. What's happening about Robbie? I don't know. He's uh, being questioned by the police. Who was in then? Well, we don't know that. I found it hard to believe it was Ricky. I find it even harder to believe it was Robbie. It's just not him, is it? But she told Alice all about it. Yeah. He wouldn't lie, would he? There's no point. Besides, he's a Christian. Yeah, he gets a couple of points, maybe. Hey, Thanks. I wonder what Ricky's eating. We didn't get much in. We weren't going to talk about him. I still can't believe it. No, what can't you believe? I can't believe that he could be so stupid again. Well, do you think it's just Ricky just being stupid like he was with Natalie? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you? What's that mean? What? Look. I don't know. I think it's all a bit over the top if all he's been doing is carrying on behind your back. What do you think? I'm overreacting. No, not you. I mean, Ted and Arthur Square going crazy if all Ricky's done is been a bit naughty with his daughter. Well, what do you think? There could be more too. Yeah, maybe. Like what? Like why does she scratch him? No. It's possible. He wouldn't force himself on anyone. So why is everybody behaving like he has? Well, you know what everyone's like. They just want to think the worst in everybody. All right, I'm just saying what he looks like. I'm just saying it's rubbish. Well, if you feel so sure, why don't you give him a chance to explain? But you don't think I should? You should do whatever makes you feel happy. Yeah, I should, should I? Did you radio in? Yeah. Well, I've never heard you. Why didn't you call me? Just give me the key, sir. Looks like it wasn't Robbie after all. Well, they could be out on bail. Or they could be waiting for Sarah to show before they make a move. No, he's not off the hook yet. Well, maybe it just wasn't him. But a kid that age, sometimes they just can't stop themselves. Especially if they're like Robbie mm. and don't get a glimpse of the skirt from one year to the next. Are you all right? Yeah. Did you crack? Go into the living room, Sonia. I want to talk to Robbie. Oh, living no. room? Sit down. I want to know what's going on, Robbie. And I want the truth. I want to know what you told the police and what really happened. Nothing happened, Gran. The I just... truth, Robbie. Last night, I dropped a pizza around to Kathy's. Sarah was babysitting. And what happened? She's been crying. I don't even know what about. I really like her, Gran, you know that. So I tried to be nice to her. Calm her down. And the next thing I knew, we were kissing. And then one thing led to another. And that was it? Yeah. You didn't force her? No, honest. Well, did you ever say no? No, Gran! Well, did you tell the police that, Robbie? What'd you tell him, Robbie? I said that I dropped the pizza off and then I left. You should have told them the truth. Do you think they believed you? Oh, I don't know, Graham. They kept on going over it, asking the same questions. Oh, you'll be all right. When Ted finds out they've let me out, he's going to come looking for me. Where's Alan? We could do with him here right now. He's gone to open up the calf. It was really great, though, Graham. He really stood up for me down there. Sonia? Don't open the door to anyone. I bet he would. Well, if we ever do, we've got to know we won't make the same mistakes again. 
I shouldn't have done what I did, and he definitely shouldn't have done what he did. I've got to be quits. And what about David? Well, where's he fit into all this? David was different. You know, it's, uh, it was like being a kid again, not something to base your life on. And Alan is useless without you. Yeah, I know, I've seen him. I mean, he was right with us, though. Yeah. You know, when Billy was born, we went out for a drink together to celebrate. I mean, we couldn't afford much, just a couple of arms each. It wasn't working. We sat in this pub, it felt like the Savoy to me. It was the best place in the world. He didn't say a lot, you know, but after a while he kissed me and he said, uh, we fit me and you, didn't we? We fit together. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, I thought so. I just hope nothing's happened to her. Don't even think about it. You can't keep your eye on them forever, can you? I mean, it's all right when they're Shamilla's act, but Sarah... Is there any news on Sarah? No, she still hasn't shown. Dad? Have for a drink. Any news, Ted? Nope. I thought you'd want to stay at the house, just in case. No, I couldn't stay much longer. I'll go back in a while, see if she's left a message. At least now they've got the offender behind bars, he won't be able to do it again, will he? Yeah. Give us a scotch, alone. Make a large one. Trouble is, he's not. What? we just sent him. They've let him out. Robbie? Yeah. Why are they letting go? I don't know. Sarah said it was him. Oh, keep it down. It's not Ted and he's liable to do anything. What will they do with him now, now they got him? Probably tell him off and make him promise not to do it again. If he cheated the tax, man, he'd be in for life. If they ever let him out, I'll see to him myself. Dad, finish your drink, yeah? And we'll go off to your place, see if there's any news. I said I'd go back in a bit, didn't I? What's your phones? She's gonna ring, she would have done it by now. Maybe it's not what we think. Hey? Eh? Well, maybe there's something else kicking around, which is why she hasn't run. Like what? Well, there's always two sides to any story. What is this? My daughter gets raped and now everyone's saying it didn't happen. Nobody's saying that. Sounds like it to me. Take it easy, Dad, yeah? I am taking it easy. Look, I'm just saying that if it is what you say, then why hasn't Sarah run? It's a bit strange, isn't it? Strange? Nothing strange in what Sarah's doing. Robbie Jackson raped her and now she's running scared. Nobody's certain it was Robbie. I am. I'm certain. I mean, she told Alistair, didn't she? Yeah, but you were certain it was Ricky. You were. I'm just saying, that's all. You little smart Alec. You know nothing, do you? It was my daughter, my daughter, he raped. Right. Ted, um, I think you're doing great, mate. Better than I would, eh? Well, if it was my daughter he'd tamp with, he'd be a dead man. Come on, Dad, yeah? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you saying? Well, I wouldn't let some jumped-up kid do that and get away with it. You're saying I'm a coward? No, Ted, no, no, no. But it no, sounds no. like hey, that I was just trying... Dad, he didn't mean it like that. He's on our side. Ted, I'm on your side, all right? Let me buy a drink. Come on. I'm sorry about that. Let me get you another. It's all right. No, really. What is it? Uh, gin and tonic, please. Gin and tonic, please, all right? Someone gone missing then. His sister. Yeah, she just didn't come up and stuff. I mean, the family bust up on, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. What's going on? You all right? You've not heard. Well, tell me. It was rape. Ricky. No. No. No, it was Robbie Jackson. The police have got him. Robbie, well, where's he fitting all this? Sarah told Alistair. What? That he raped her. What, and the police are taking him on the strength of it? Yeah. It could still be nothing. No. No, it happened. I suppose Ted's doing his nut. I just feel sick. Well, there's nothing you could have done. But it happened here. In our house. Can you imagine how scared she was? Yeah. No. No, you can't. You can't imagine anything like that unless it happens to you. It could have been in here. You could have forced her against that wall. It should have been telling him to stop. I told him to stop. But he wouldn't listen. He just kept on pushing me and pulling at my clothes. I couldn't stop him. I couldn't stop him. I'd rather you didn't touch me, Phil. Look, I don't think I can live here anymore. Jin. Oh, I'm sorry. I 
I'll just add another drink. I'll, I'll get rid of it. If I was to down that in one, you wouldn't be very pleased, would you? Well, I'm not going to, Kath. And you know why? Because you had the strength to make me see how stupid all that was. You did that, Kath. Now, if anyone's got the strength to get through all this, and you have. But you've lived in the square ever since it happened. But in our house. You've lived here with everyone knowing what happened. And I know what people can be like. They can be really cruel. But you got through all that, didn't you? And if you can get through that, you can get through anything. Can't you? So who's the kid who's raped, huh? Well, they think it's Robbie Jackson. Local boy. Yeah. Where's he live? Why do you want to know? Living around here, you like to know what's going on. Where'd you live? Victoria Road. What number? <laughs> what is this? I was just wondering what was going on, that's all. There's nothing wrong with being concerned, is there? When did you last see your sister? Mind your own business. Tony? <laughs> it's all right, I should just leave it, sorry. Yeah, but look, she was only asking. Yeah, well? Do you think this is a good idea? Yeah, don't worry. Robbie's first in line for a public hanging now. Poor Robbie, eh? Mind you, I'm glad it's not me. Uh, two pints of the GNT, please. You okay, Ricky? If you weren't having such a bad time right now, Ted, I'd say you owe Ricky an apology. You've heard they've arrested Robbie? Yeah. And I still want to hear what Sarah's got to say about it. What's the matter with you? How would you like it if your daughter had been raped? Uh, obviously, Ted, I can't say, but I do know how I'd feel if my son was wrongly accused. You'd be angry, wouldn't you? Of course I'd be angry. Yeah, well, that's how Ted feels. So get off my back. I know what she is. This Alistair, what's he got to do with it? You're a journalist, aren't you? So? So? Who told you about all this? I've got contacts. The move my dad's in, if he thinks for one minute somebody's trying to make on the back of my sister, then they are dead men. Don't threaten me. I'm not threatening you. I'm just trying to be friendly with you. So, should we go over and speak to him? See what he has to say? No, um, I really regret it. Yeah, well, don't. It's not your fault what happened with David. It was Alan's. Anyway, I was bound to about them, especially with him carrying on the way he was. That was nothing to do with Alan. It's me just trying to get something out of my system. But now I'm thinking, what's the point? You know, he's been gone months and I haven't heard a word from him. Well, did you expect to? No. Oh, what the hell? It doesn't really matter, does it? All that matters is that I did it and I shouldn't have done. You know, I'm not proud of myself. Yeah, but you enjoyed it, though, didn't you? Yeah, it's exciting. I knew it wouldn't last, though. Oh, but that's David. I'm surprised he stayed around as long as he did. One trifle. Cheers. And a fun. Thanks. He's not the best dad in the world. But thanks to me, he's your dad. Yeah, but he's never really been there for me, has he? Not like Helen. Not when it really mattered. What do you think I should do? Well, I think you still love him, and you told me if I wanted Ricky, I should talk to him, so perhaps you should start listening to your own advice. All right, girl, this didn't change me. I want to phone the police, see what's happening. If I was Alan, I'd be over there now reading the White Act, telling him he couldn't set foot out of the house unless he could prove he'd nothing to do with it. Over there now? Oh. They've let him out, haven't they? Oh, dear. They have, haven't they? They've let him out. Oh, love They've let a rapist that. out on the street. That's what that's is that's this? Hold it. There's nothing you can do. Just leave it. Oh. Leave it? Leave it, yeah. This isn't going to help Sarah, is it? Yeah, I can't stay here with him across the road, really, because he thinks he's got away come with on, it. Come on, come on. Calm down. We thought, seeing as you've been by yourselves all night, you might like to have a drink with us. I'm one for your friend. I'm her mum. Oh. If you're wanting anything on the table, I'm going to be very disappointed. I'm not available. Need for my... Okay. I just thought we'd ask. <laughs> Cheers. Did you mean what you said? Yeah, I meant it. Did you mean it? Yeah. Thank you. Wish Alan was here. Oh, would you be all right? If Ted comes, I won't be. I think I'm going to spend the night at the cafe. It'll be safer there. Well, shall I give Alan a ring? Well, if he's not busy, he might come over until the pub's closed. Would you mind, Gran? No. Nah. Engaged. I'd better go over there and see what he says.
Do you want to get something to eat? Yeah, I'm starving. I could do with something to eat. I think I'll pop in the chippy on the way. Oh. Yeah, see if there's any news. I'll be here long enough. I'll come with you. No, no. No, I'm fine, I'm fine. Just need some fresh air, clear my head. Nothing to do with us. Come on, Robbie, open the door. He's really nervous, Alan. I'll be all right. Just make sure the door's locked. What about Peggy? Blurring it out, they'd let him go. I wouldn't like to be Robbie. Ted knows Robbie's home. Um, yeah. I... Well, Ted knows that Robbie's out? Yeah, I think so. Where is he now? Well, he just left the Vic. 